she's getting a lot of backlash for her press conference after they lost to Iowa. So I want to play the sound for you and just get your thoughts. I don't really get to stand up for myself. I mean, I have great teammates. I have a great support system. I got my hometown. I got my family that stands up for me. I don't really get to speak out on things just because I just try to ignore and I just try to stand strong. Like, I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things and I've stood strong every single time. And I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and like not be there for them. So I just want to always just know like I'm still a human. First of all, she didn't just sit up there and start commiserating like some someone other people in the midst. Someone question. asked her a question, and that was her response. And I suppose the good news about women's basketball and the equity that we're starting to see is that we've got horrible, horribly bad st takes coming from people that don't know anything. So at least that's a positive. But are people tripping for saying, why are you complaining? Why are you up there talking about your hurt ankle? You lost. Just take it. Absolutely. Yes. They're tripping and they're tripping hard. Like, because I, I just don't understand. Two things can be true. Angel can be this player that has a big personality and is unapologetically her and she talks trash. That can be true. And her feelings can get hurt for people attacking who she is as a young woman. Two things can be true. So I don't understand how people just expect her to show no emotion when she's asked a question and emotion arises. She's a human. She said it. And the timing of this matters. Yeah. This is a woman who has said, you know, and even her teammates have said, heavy is the head that wears the crown. She was crowned one of the faces of college basketball based off of her success. And the way that she got there was not only being the best on the floor, but also being unapologetically herself. Yeah. This is a league. I, I mean, I'm talking about league and the W because, like, I, that's my first reference point. But, like, we know the communities that we represent when we go out there. And I think she's done an excellent job representing herself, her family, her brand, and doing it on her own time. But, like... To me, when you think about these situations, she waited until things were said and done to show, hey guys, I'm a human too. Yeah. She didn't have the ability to speak on it because she didn't want to put herself in a space of emotional vulnerability knowing that Correct. the crowd that she yeah. wears, the crown that she wears is heavy. Correct. To me, it takes such a level of poise yeah. to be able to withstand what she has withstood, saying that last year, mm -hmm. ever since she won, she hasn't really fully been happy, yeah. but she has to show up in every space, mm -hmm. play hard as a basketball player, yep. be the leader of a team, not let people down, yep. and then finally she can take a break and say, like, look, mm -hmm. I've been on this journey, and this is what it's like for me. It's all coming up. Like, it, it came out like that because she's been holding that in. Correct. She's been trying to hold it down. And, she, like, it just, it, it just reminds me of how women are superheroes because... Yeah. She gave a glimpse of what humanity was, and it was beautiful. And yes. also on top of it, to see her sisters next to her yeah. uplift her in that moment, I, that was it. I hate being the person that like quotes like uh, from the Barbie movie, but I thought America Ferreira's speech about it being impossible to be a woman. It's like you want your women to be yeah. gentle and humble and self-deprecating and the... This whole she's the villain, she embraced the villain role, it's because she was made that way. Yeah. It was painted Lily White versus Dirty Debutante, and it's been that way since she won the national championship last year. And so at some point, it's a defense mechanism. You accept it and you take it and you're like, fine, I'll be that for you. If that's what you're going to make me, I'll accept that role. And the second she shows vulnerability, we're bitching and complaining and whining that she's whining. It just doesn't make it. You are damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. And I hope she learns right away, early on. It's, it's so unfortunate she has to learn it this way, that being a woman is impossible. It is impossible. <laughs> yeah. and, some, and we do it in the best way that we can and we show up. And also at times being a public figure is impossible. Correct. Because these are situations, especially with social media, these people are saying things about Angel that have no business speaking on Angel. Correct. Or who she is as a person. And in really in any other sense of time before social media was a thing, they would never be able to put their opinions really anywhere and about Angel. And they're coming from this preconceived notion of what women's basketball was, not what women's right. basketball is right now. We've been fighting to have players like Angel Reese out there being herself mm -hmm. for years. Correct. While society has tried to mold us into something that is a palatable product. The most palatable product is exactly who she is. Yes. What these women Authenticity are. Authenticity is the most palatable thing. Thank you. And that's why we're seeing all the viewership and all the ratings and all that type of stuff because she exists. 
the way that she does. And so to push against that in ways that people don't realize are not tied to the game. Yeah. Yeah. It's tripping. Couldn't be me. 